Good morning, and we are back at Mr. Isaac's Game Design and Development class, and today we're looking a little bit in Minecraft Education Edition. We're going to take a, another look at the NPCs and command blocks, uh, because in this class for game design, when you're creating in, in Minecraft to create your own game, automation becomes the key, and making things happen automatically uh, is what we need in order to really have a playable game. So... We're going to start by um, introducing the NPCs. I'll go into game mode creative for now. Okay. And I'm going to give myself the NPC eggs. Okay. Now, NPCs in Minecraft, there are a couple things you have to understand here. So first of all, there's the NPC. Okay. Now, if you've played the mod custom NPCs, you're a little bit familiar with NPCs. Otherwise, you might not be, but of course, if you've played games online, you know, in Minecraft that have had NPCs, you might realize there are these characters you could interact with. Um, other games, of course, NPCs are a big part, uh, non-player characters, which can guide you in the game. A lot of times, they'll be who we'll interact with to find out things about the game or to guide the narrative or the story. So they were um, something people really wanted in the Education Edition. Now... When I right-click on an NPC, um, as long as I'm in world builder mode, which when you create the game, you are in automatically. Uh, otherwise, you have to toggle between world builder and, and true and false, and I'll show you that in a minute. But we have a lot of things we can do here. We can change the skin. They might be adding more skins in time, but right now these are the skins we have. Um, we're going to call this, uh, what should we call her? Josephine? Good idea. Okay, so Josephine is going to say, Welcome, traveler. Um, you are about to embark upon quite an adventure. To make sure you are ready, I have some weapons and armor for you. Okay? So... Now, a couple of things you can do with the NPCs. I can link to a web page if I want. So let's say your game or whatnot has, or learning experience has people going out to learn something online, maybe to bring back into the game, maybe a clue or something. You could do that. But my favorite part is the commands. So if you've used command blocks before, think of it like your NPCs are sort of like also a command block. And they can issue, I think it's up to either five or six commands. Okay. So what I had said a second ago is that we were going to give you some armor, right, and some weapons. So I'm going to type a command in here, give at P diamond sword. Now, if you're used to using commands, you're kind of used to this, using the slash when you do commands in the text box. Anybody use commands in Minecraft? A little bit, no? Never use the cheats where you do commands in the command line? No? All right, well, so much for you to learn here. Um, but this is how, now, give at P, anybody know what the at P refers to? Player. player. So that's the nearest player. Um, in other times, you might use something like a specific player or at S, which would be self. But in this case, because the NPC is giving it to you, you want it to be to at P. Now, I could set up a button that says diamond sword, and then you would have to click it to get the sword. The only problem with that, or the reason I'm not going to do that right now, is that if I'm going to give you multiple items, I would have to interact with the NPC multiple times. Like, I'd have to get the sword, go out of the NPC, right-click on the NPC again, get the next item. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to get a diamond sword, give at P, diamond. We're going to get this guy all stacked. Chest plate. Okay. Um... Now, the, the diamond underscore chest plate, that's the way that the game refers to a diamond chest plate. The underscore is in there because something worth noting, whenever you're dealing with coding in any sense, if I had a space there, it would think I was saying give at P diamond, and then there'd be a space, and it would think chest plate was like another command or, or the next uh, bit of information I'm giving the computer. Uh, give at P diamond boots. Is that the right? We'll see. I don't think that's right, actually. Diamond 
How about um, helmet? Is that going to be right? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Give at P diamond. What else do we have? Leggings, right? Maybe it is boots then also. Oops. And whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Keep doing that. All right, we're going to add another one. Give at P diamond boots, if I'm right. Let's see. And then let's see how many we could do. Um, what else do we want to give? How about a diamond pickaxe in case he goes uh, mining? Give at P diamond pickaxe. And I'm, I could be totally wrong on some of these. So notice I can't do any more. So I can do one, two, three, four, five, six commands, which is pretty great. So now we want to see this in action. So here's Josephine. Now, in order to interact with her, if, if you have your game set up for other players, they'll right-click on her. In my case, though, I still have World Builder on, so I want to toggle World Builder off so that now I can actually interact with her. So I interact with her. Welcome, Traveler. You're about to embark upon quite an adventure. To make sure you're ready, I have some weapons and armor for you. Okay, I got everything, so I guess I spelt it all right. Okay? Now, why don't we go a step further and say something like, uh, let me make sure my settings on not peaceful. Okay, I'm going to set it on easy. And in a minute, I'll change it to uh, survival. But I want to now be able to have, let's say we want the next NPC to, um, oops, I got to go back to World Builder. Now, let's say this NPC wants, let's say you're doing a tutorial part of the game where you want to have the person practice fighting before it goes out into the wild, right? So this one will be, what should we call this NPC? Anybody? Okay, Henrietta. And here's Henrietta. Before you go out into the deep, dark woods, you should get, act, get uh, accustomed to using your new diamond sword. Um, eliminate the mobs ahead, okay? So now, I want to go to the advanced settings again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a few mobs for this NPC to have to attack, okay? So I'm going to summon a uh, zombie, okay? What else do you want me to summon? Summon... Wither, okay, is that a capital W? Probably Wither. That's going to be quite a battle, though, right? Um, summon... No, no, not yet. I think the Wither is bad enough. So summon... What else are we going to summon? Um, what's that? Skeleton. And just so we can get a little food, we will summon a pig. Now, um, now the interesting thing is, the way I have these right now... They're going to summon these right where the NPC is. So we'll try that, but then we can also decide where we want them. Actually, no, we'll decide that now. We'll say relative to where I am with the tilde, I want to have the zombie be 5, 0, 5, right? So it should be 5 away from me on the X and 5 on the Z. The wither could be uh, 2... 10, it'll fall from the sky, hopefully. And 10, the skeleton will be 0, 0, 5. And the pig will be right where it is. And let's see what happens. Let's see if this all works, okay? You ready? So now, what do I have to toggle again to make sure I could interact with the World, with builder. World builder? Slash WB. Here we go. Now, let's see what happens. I guess I should probably put on my armor, shouldn't I? And I should go into survival. Okay. All right. Let's see if this really works. Before you go out in the deep dark woods, you should get accustomed to using your diamond sword. Eliminate the mobs ahead. Yeah. All right. I might be toast. We'll see. All right. We're doing all right. Ooh, oh, my, my. Henrietta's taking a beating. Luckily, my diamond. Up, oh, they all. Where'd they? Where'd the? Yeah, I guess I do. So anyway, 
Um, we did see at least it all working, right? So that's kind of cool. All right. So now, um, the last thing I'm going to show you. Oh, boy. That's scary stuff. Oh, where is he? Way up? Where the, uh... All right. All right. I right, watch this. We're going to do slash kill. Hopefully that'll work. Oh, I died too. Yeah, but at least... Oh, and it didn't kill the... What? Is it dying? Oof. Oh, there we go. All right, that was fun. Now, we're going to go back to game mode creative. Okay, I'm going to make it day again for a second. Okay. Now we're going to really quickly do something similar, but we're, we're going to use command blocks this time, okay? So command blocks, if I give at self command block, now which one I could do, I could um, give myself command blocks, okay? I'm going to place a command block here, and now what I'm going to do is I also want a pressure plate that I could just grab from the inventory. I think the command block you have to give yourself now I'm going to take a pressure plate. Pressure plate is what's going to activate the command block, right? And if I have, if I wanted to, to have there be space between it, I can put some redstone in to, um, so there's a, like, in other words, when, and we could hide the redstone also, but I'm going to make it so when I press, when I walk on this, see the redstone goes, it's going to ultimately activate whatever this is saying. And let's, oh, I lost all my gear too. Um, so we're going to now, we're going to do something. We are going to summon pig, um, from zero, twenty, zero. Now, where is this pig going to come originate? In the, sky. In the sky. Now, I wonder how we make more than, there's a way to, let's see if we can do 20 here for the number of pigs that might or might not work, might be in the wrong place. But let's see. Ready? Okay, I don't see any pigs. Okay, let's see. Maybe it, uh, it doesn't like... I don't think it likes... Yeah, I knew it wouldn't like the 20. I wonder if I could put the 20 here. Summon pig 20. And I could be totally wrong still. And I am. Okay, but the cool thing is it'll show me what it didn't like. Some expected, unexpected zero at. So you know what it is. I'm sorry. The, this clearly is where it's supposed to. Um, so let's start with that and then see if there's a way to have more than one happen. But anyway, we will at least summon this one pig and have it fall from the sky. Now we have some meat. Okay. Um, and now we can do the same thing if you think about it that we did with our enemies and stuff. So if you're making, if you're making an adventure game right, or an adventure map, or a game, and you're in a maze, and you want to automatically spawn uh, mobs at certain places, you can use these command blocks and redstone, you know, and a pressure plate, and you could have, maybe before I walk in the door, it also spawns the mobs I want, then I walk in the building, and now I have to fight that monster, right? So, um, for you all, as you start playing around, figure out what I did wrong with the number because i'm sure it's simple enough that you could have it spawn 20 pigs um at that time so anyway that gives you a lot to go on so far uh starting to think about moving ahead one of the quests that you'll get to fairly early is creating a mini game in minecraft so this kind of stuff will help you with that for sure so thanks for watching and enjoy and start having some fun and um exploration in minecraft with command blocks and npc